Welcome back to CSM TV, and uh, we're going to start finally laying out the harness. So we got actually just about everything cut harness-wise. It's all labeled, ready to go. So we need to start the layout, which what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to kind of copy what uh, HP Academy does, because I took their wiring course, well, their online course. So kind of lay this out and then uh, add all these branches, throw a zip tie in these holes on this table, and then lay the harness out that way. So then we're going to have zip ties on all the breakouts, and uh, then you can run the wire whichever way you kind of want it to lay out. So... Yeah, I guess uh, I'll start laying out how it needs to be zip-tied. I think I'm going to try to do it off the mock-up harness that we did. And then start putting some wire down. So let's uh, go ahead and get to it. Who wants to watch me do something stupid? Okay, got everything uh, zip tied up and actually labeled as well. Pretty hard to see because I should have bought white instead of brown. But that's okay. So I got everything kind of routed and zip tied up so when I run the wire, hopefully it stays as organized as possible. At least that's what I'm hoping for. It might be a little overkill, but good prep work usually gives good results so that's what I'm hoping for so now I uh, probably I think I'm good to pull the harness out and then, or well the mock-up harness out and then actually start running wire to each uh, each little zip tie chain and hopefully hopefully I can remember where it goes so all right getting uh, started on finally running some wire so I ran a couple for the breakouts, well the main breakouts for, uh, so stuff that's going on the engine. This is the uh, firewall breakout inside of the engine bay and this is the uh, driver's side breakout. So I wanted to run a couple wires just to, uh, before I pulled the rest of the harness out, just to know exactly how it's routed. So I feel like once I pull this main harness, it might get confusing, so. All right, there she is. No more mock-up harness. So, now, we're ready to throw wire. And uh, real quick, just keep with the organization. Taking the tags off of uh, what I labeled when I cut the harness. And putting them on the end so I know where they are, just in case because it's probably going to take a few days, so try to keep it as organized as possible and so I don't have to think about it as much or have to retrace my steps, something like that. So even though I got, I mean, every, got a bunch of different colors, like I said, I got it from work, so I was lucky enough to have that, and I know most people, when they do it, they only use a few colors, so I'm lucky I can use pretty much every different color for every different sensor on this so and uh so yeah if you're actually going to do a plug quick plug if you need an ls swap harness for anything go to speartech.com and do me a favor and company and buy a harness so yeah best in the business so without further ado let's go ahead and yeah get to throw on some wire
All right, got everything most, well, I should say, mostly everything laid out on the harness. Um, I got some more stuff to lay out. I got a pile of wires. But I'm going to start combining things before I do that, before it gets just, it's already kind of bulky and got wires running everywhere. So I want to actually combine everything before I put a whole bunch more wires in there so it's easier to get to. So I'll go ahead and show you that. I'll show you a couple in real time. Uh, just to give you an idea of how to do that and then uh, probably go to a time lapse or I may just skip over that because it's kind of the same thing over and over it's gonna be a lot of me trying to figure out exactly where to put everything Cause you kind of want to place it in a good spot um, where it's not gonna like on a branch like for example I'm gonna do a uh, cam and crank here and this is gonna have a it's gonna be taped there so like Right where there, there's going to be like a stress relief where it's going to be pretty strong and not actually want to pull out there. So, so it'll be a lot of that planning out kind of deal and uh, probably a lot of scratching my head. So I probably want to watch that. So we'll see. Go ahead and get started with one and see how it goes. All right, so we got our cam and the crank breakout 5 volt reference. So I'm going to go ahead, cut these dudes off, about here, that'd be fine, and strip these guys, hopefully I left enough room, oh yeah, that's plenty. And of course my tape just... Ooh, that's all right. Strip them down, strip this guy. Don't forget the heat shrink. Alright, here we got our uh, barrel crimp right there. It's kind of hard to see. So, getting it set here, try to get it sort of tight. I should have done this in a better spot. Oof, that's going to be too long. That's just going to be annoying. Right. Try that. Our first guy in. This is a hard part, which I haven't really gotten down very well. We don't do a lot of this at my work. So it's kind of tricky, but there she is. See if we can get in there. Two to one. Then a whole bunch of heat shrink over that. So yeah, that's uh, basically it. Gonna be a whole lot more of that, so probably do a time lapse on if I'll throw it all in there. So, all right, so we got the ground blend done. Um, one thing I did want to touch on is the extra wire. So that'll be getting pulled out because it's no longer needed. They'll be uh, both blended in, and they go to the same pin on the ECU. So they got the same uh, same sensor ground and uh, 5 volt reference that go to the ECM so I don't need two of them obviously so just have the one so I'll pull out the old wire and uh, just save it for later I didn't know exactly where the blends were going to go so I didn't want to cut myself short so that's why everything's kind of long so yeah that's what we're going to do with all that excess wire and I got a few things that probably need more wire or need to add a wire for blends so I kind of accounted for that so yeah it'll get put to use
right, getting into some of these blends since I'm not going to run a time lapse. Just too, uh, too tedious and got to concentrate a little bit, make sure I'm not messing anything up. So I figured I'd run another example and uh, kind of go over some things that I've learned actually in this process because uh, a little bit different than what I normally do at work that everything's kind of all figured out and I just basically just assemble things. But so yeah, um, got some blends I'm working on now. Got four over here, three over here. All of these are going to go together. So I'm going to blend them here and here. There'll be one wire going out and then actually go back to our main blend over there. So, yeah, and we're going to use these, uh, using these barrel crimps, barrel splice, whatever you want to call them. And uh, a couple different ones. These are the bigger ones. And, uh, yeah, you can see they have different sizes of them. That's for the... The CMA, circular, was it circular? I better look it up before I just mess it up. Circular mill area. So you got to figure out that with the wire, which there's several charts you can look up, or you can just measure it yourself. So, and that's the size wire you use, or you size the wire for the, uh, the splice here, and uh, you got to add it all together. So... With four of these wires, and a 20 gauge is about a thousand CMA. So, and there'll be a fifth one in for the wire going out. So that puts us about 5,000 CMA, which I have some 1,500 to 5,000. I don't know if I use that or 4,000 to 9,000 CMA. So, a couple different options you have. And you have to kind of look through that, look up that stuff. It's it's kind of overwhelming, but um, actually learned about that on the HP Academy um, uh, webinars that they have up there, which is really helpful. So, yeah, enough blabbing on. Hopefully, I explained it decently enough to think about. And then uh, we'll go ahead and throw uh, throw these blends together. All right, so we're going to cut this back kind of close. Try to hold my wires together so I know what I'm doing. Um, I'll cut it here at the blend. Not too close, but close enough. Because we're going to have a few there. I don't want to run out of space. So yeah, I just need to cut those and strip them. I'm going to size this up and see if I like the size or if it's going to be too much of a pain to work with. Um, we'll go next size up. So that was the 1500 to 5000. We're going to go 4000. 4,000 to 9,000, which is this guy. There's a part number on there, I'm sure, from TE. Hopefully, hopefully this goes well, because it's uh, pretty close. Don't forget the heat shrink. Not a big deal, but makes life a lot easier. And of course, I'm gonna have to be a little OCD about this. Make sure everything's in there. Get 
solid crimp and this one hangs over a little bit so I have to go in there and give her a nice little extra crimp give her a pull test each wire Oh yeah, she is good. Little heat shrink, that one's done. Cheese and rice. Oh man. It's a beast of a harness, Jesus. So I got everything blended in and uh, all the wires ran. Everything should be ready to go to start taping up. Except for I want to start on the, probably do the disconnect first. I haven't started on that yet. I got it all depinned. This is the old one that I use on the harness, on my old harness. So still got to do that. So I don't want to get taped in on that side at least until that's done. So just in case I need to pull on some wires or mess up something got to redo it or something like that so i want to get too in depth and that's why it's kind of it would look a little better if i taped it in i'm sure and get a little more organized but working with what we got here added in a bunch of stuff that just kind of uh spaced and added a few things added uh actually biggest thing is getting everything on the pdm hadn't planned on doing it just adding the fuse box but we got all the lights Headlights, turn signals, um, marker lights, all that stuff. Got it to fit on the PDM, my buddy Matt. He actually came over and helped me out and um, got that thing all sorted out and uh, got everything, we got everything ran here. This is actually all the headlights, tur turn signals, uh, column switch. So I'm going to run the factory column switch for the... Uh, Headlights and turn signals, figured that out. So, man, pretty pretty excited about that part of it and to ditch all that crappy wiring that has been in the car for years and I've gone over way too many times. So, yes, it got out of hand quite a bit for uh, just breakouts that I hadn't, hadn't thought about, hadn't planned until I kind of got in the harness, all the uh, twisted pairs. And spare twisted pairs just in case I want to add something in later so the cleanliness kind of went down a little bit but it'd look a little better if I had taped in but like I said kind of waiting on that so yeah gonna go over last thing before I get into that stuff I'm gonna make sure everything for the PDM and this is for the MoTeC it's all it's all big wire mess I should have kept that a little bit better organized I'm going to go through all those wires. That's a lot. Make sure I didn't miss anything. And then, uh, yeah. Then I can go ahead and pin that guy in. Pin in this dude. Tape everything up. Start to cover it. And then go on to pinning. So, taking a little longer than normal. I had a, than normal, like I've done this before. A little longer. Short break, working on the glunt. And then, got a new tow rig as well. So that took a few days to get that done and mess with that so yeah we'll see what else we can get done uh probably just kind of get this organized and okay so I started trying to go through all that stuff on the ecu and P pdm side make sure i didn't miss anything definitely got to fix a couple things that i just did incorrectly added a couple wires need to take out a couple wires whatever so it happens that's why you double check before you do anything so i'm going to fix those i like i said i started to go through it kind of running out of time right now so that's because i'm out here on the beach for a week with the family uh enjoying a little family vacation so well uh thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one